What up, YouTube? This your boy, Down Low, back for another reply. This one I'm replying to an interview that Drake had with this guy named Westwood. Tim Westwood TV, if you want to check him out. Drake hit off on some good quotes here, man. In which, I think I just do need to talk about it. Like, even as much as I don't like Lil Wayne... As much as I don't like Drake, as much as I don't like N Nicki Minaj, I, you got to respect them for what they're doing. But I will tell you why I don't like these guys. Now, I don't like Lil Wayne because, one, he's overhyped. Like, who he was... Back in the original Carter, which is still his hottest album to date, was who he should have been. They felt they could easily part ways with Manny Fresh, a great producer, hit maker, part ways with the ghostwriter of Lil Wayne, and just keep it pushing. And which proved to be true. And I, I can't knock it. But then the thing in which I really don't like Lil Wayne for is the fact that he pioneered this new movement of dropping a mixtape every week. A garbage mixtape dropped every week for him to build his name as the greatest rapper alive. That is why I don't like him. Because, I mean, it was great promotion, but flooded the market with garbage, and which leads to a bunch of other people who has nowhere near the talent or the resources of Lil Wayne to flood the market with garbage, which makes my life even more difficult because I like to listen to more and more music as much as I can get, get my hands on, but there's so much garbage to filter through, man, it's difficult to find who's hot. I don't like Drake because he treats his fans like shit. Like, if you hear some of these stories that goes on with him and his tour on how he brings up a different woman on every show to just show off on her, to pretend like he's finna kiss her, then just straight diss the chick and send her the fuck off. That shit is fucked up. And then I also hear stories about people who run up on him to try and get an autograph and he sick his fucking bouncers and shit on him to fuck him up. In which they may not have been going for the autograph or whatever, but that shit is fucked up for you to send a fucking 300 pound bouncer to crush a motherfucker's face to the point that he has to go get surgery that night. That's fucked up. And I mean, you don't hear this type of shit for Wiz Khalifa concerts and shit. You don't hear about this because I've seen it personally that Wiz Khalifa loves his fucking fans. He will stay at the show like hour, two hours to talk to all of the fans that want to talk to him. Like, yo, what's happening? I'm Wiz. Splow him up. Yeah, what's happening, bro? And that's how Wiz Khalifa gets the most respect for me and he gets the most love of anyone I've ever seen because he's the realest motherfucker. I don't like Nicki Minaj because she is just a fake chick, man. And I mean, I know that's some shit that the industry forces upon her, but the way she rhymes is fake. All of her body is fake. But yet, she gets overhyped, and she has some decent lyrics, but not good enough to overcome the fake shit that I see from her all the time, man. But what Drake touched on in this interview is how young money, cash money, is doing it up. And he's absolutely right. I haven't seen this type of dominance since cash money. With <laughs> when all of their artists, Lil Wayne, BG, Juvenile. But now it's Drake, Nicki Minaj, Lil Wayne selling millions and shit, man. It's quite crazy and quite commendable what they're doing. But I just simply don't like how they're doing it, but also in Young Money, there's a bunch of little dudes up in there that I do like, that they can rap, like Short Dog, I fucks with Short Dog, even though he's completely stealing Too Short Swag, 
But when he gets on his own shit, in which it's that Texas South music, man, I fucks with him. He got talent. And, man, Young Money is actually pretty talented. There's a few dudes in there that's good. And then there's a couple that's, like, trying to be Lil Wayne on the same label as Lil Wayne, which makes no fucking sense, which I lose all respect for that portion of Young Money. But... This is just something I just had to say, man. I mean, you guys, no matter how much I don't like somebody, I'll always respect the grind, respect the hustle, respect you for getting your money, because I always love to see a black dude make it. Yeah, here I stand. 